Welcome to another Chiron podcast. This podcast is about the use of Chiron's Cameo with Avid's Newsroom solution using Lucy as the ActiveX plugin. We'd like to talk about the support of the Lucy ActiveX plugin within Avid's iNews solutions versions 2.1, 2.5, 2.8, and now 3.0, all utilizing the MOS protocol 2.6. Let's take a look see how this all works. I'm working in iNews. I have a script about the change in the postal delivery service in the United States where they're going to go to a five-day week. I want to order a graphic. I'm going to go Tools, Plugins, Chiron Lucy. That'll launch my browser with my assets in it. And I want to do one line super, so I'm going to see that's the first graphic. I'm going to double click on it. That will bring it over to my message editor. It's got some default text in there. And I want to change that text to be five-day postal week. I'm going to click Preview. That'll send it back to the Cameo servers or request to render that graphic for me so I can see how it looks. It looks great. If I want to see it bigger, if I double click on the thumbnail, I get a larger view to proofread it. Looks wonderful. I also want to make sure the default channel assignment, which is A, is marked. I'm going to right click on the thumbnail and choose Automation. From there, I get a pop up window that lets me put in the end times and a duration. So I'm going to put that together, click on it, and I've configured my Cameo server to show that to me. All I need to do now is to take that thumbnail and drag it into my script where I want the graphic to appear. I could put it in the script. I could also put it in the left column. And you'll notice in the production queue, the left column, you'll see that it says that it goes to channel A, the template name, the message ID. You can see what's inside the template. And I've also got my time marker, so that helps my director put that into the show. Let's say I also want to have an over-the-shoulder graphic, so I'm going to come to the quick search field and type in OTS, and that'll show me on my OTS images. I'm going to click to make that larger just so I can see them better. I double-click, and that brings my graphic over. I'm going to come into this frame here that we call Access Picture Frame. Use could be called whatever you choose to use. I'm going to click Create Access Graphic, and I want to put a picture of the Postmaster General. So I'm going to click on Postmaster General. Now. It brings me to Access Graphics, and you're going to notice that the preview image that I have here matches the preview image I have here because my graphics team is really on the ball. Well, I want to fill in Zone 1 and Zone 2 of my graphic, and I know the Postmaster General's person I would put in, his name is John Potter. Not jump, jump to Potter, but John Potter. I don't have one on my local data source, which is my own station, so I'm going to go to the Associated Press in the Graphics Bank, and there's a picture of John Potter. I'm going to find him there, and you see he's automatically popped up into my graphic. I'm going to move him over to the side, because I want to put a Postal Service logo in there. And I'm going to go for USPS, because that's my United States Postal Service. My local system doesn't have it, so I'm going to go to the Associated Press and see if I find something in there. Look at that. That's perfect. So I'm going to use this graphic here. I'm going to reposition it ever so slightly. And move that over there. And now I have a nice graphic, and I want to say Postal Changes is when I'm going to select that graphic for use later. I'm going to click on the Assemble button, and that is going to send off a preview render to the Access Graphics system. And when it's done doing the preview render, it's going to show it to me in a proxy frame in a web page. I can see that graphic. If I wanted to see it larger, I could choose that. I'm going to leave it for now. I'm just going to click the Deliver button. When I click the Deliver button, it automatically sends it to my Cameo server. You see it says Transferring Postmaster, Transfer Complete. I'm going to close that. I'm also going to close my Access Browse. I'm going to change my OTS slug to match what I have over here, five day delivery. And You'll see a gold bar pop up here in a second to tell me things have changed. I'm going to take a chance that it's there. I'm going to click Preview. Once I do that, it's going to go off to the Cameo server, find my graphic that's just been delivered. It also took my slug. I'm going to double click on the thumbnail to make it larger. And there you go. You can see that. And I'm going to go ahead and give this an automation time also. I'm going to say that it should be in from 0 to 10 seconds. And again, if I've got the graphic I like, I click on the thumbnail, I drag it into my production queue or my script. I'm going to move it over here next to where it's Postmaster General, and it's in my script. I save it, and if I want to check, I go to Running Orders. I see my show, and I can see that I've got Postal, I've got a lower third, and I've got an OTS graphic. And all that's done within the newsroom system. I had, didn't even have to call anybody. Mm -hmm.